from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Pretty quiet weather across green country, and thankfully that sets up well for us heading into Easter weekend. If you've got your outdoor plans ready to go from Good Friday through Saturday and Easter Sunday, we're still looking good here in uh, eastern Oklahoma. Wide view on radar, you can see where active weather is just off to our south. There's a storm system that's going to produce a lot of rain across central, eastern, southeastern Texas, and portions of the southeast around Louisiana and Mississippi for the next day or two. That's where that's going to stay, though. Pretty uh, vibrant look, I guess you could say, on the water vapor satellite. This is where we use to look at those upper level systems. You can see all the moisture streaming up ahead of this system just to our south. Powerful upper level low now well off to into Canada was what helped feed the severe weather threats a couple days ago. Another upper level low down here that's going to stay to our south. Another one off the west coast. So it's an active jet stream pattern, but not a lot of systems that are really going to directly impact us over the next several days. Again, moisture stays to our south through the weekend. So through Easter weekend, a gradual warming trend. Now there will be by the end of the weekend, late Easter Sunday into Monday, morning and Monday midday a system tracking across the middle of the country a little trough axis that could produce a few scattered showers and storms doesn't appear like this is a big deal and again timing wise right now it looks like that would be late in the day Easter Sunday more into Monday when we could have a few scattered showers and storms so right now we're still not planning on Easter Sunday having too many problems from a weather standpoint we'll keep an eye on it but where there are some uh, changes heading into next week which we've seen this trend now starting to show up is that this upper level low drops to our south and then cuts off from the upper level flow just kind of sits and spins to our south and east next week. Probably too far to the east and southeast to give us much rain, unfortunately, but it would give us some more cloud cover. Might keep us a little cooler early next week and delay any sort of big warm up. Eventually, we'll start to see more of those western systems head our way again. But as far as rainfall over the next seven days, not a whole lot. I mean, we may pick up some spotty showers at times again, late Easter Sunday into Monday and then the middle of next week, but nothing that's really going to help with the drought. So unfortunately, I mean, until something changes significantly in that gesture pattern. Our northwestern counties are still really, really hurting for rain. Pawnee, Osage County, up into southeast Kansas in particular, we see those shades of red, those worst stages of drought. Unfortunately, going to continue, may continue for a while. All right, back here closer to home, looking at One Oak Field for the Drillers home opener this evening. We're looking at temperatures at about 59 degrees at first pitch at 705. A northeast breeze, a light but steady northeast breeze, and we'll drop into the low 50s as the evening goes along. So it looks like pristine opening night baseball weather. Late tonight, early tomorrow morning, there's a freeze watch posted. Creek County, Pawnee, Osage, Washington, and in Wada counties where temperatures could be right at just below freezing, maybe down to about 30, 31 in some spots. We'll highlight that in just a second, but generally northwest of Tulsa, some of you did have a light freeze this morning and some of you may have that again tomorrow. Clouds filtering in this afternoon, so that's going to slow down the warming trend. I've got us at about 62 in Tulsa. Keep in mind, you know, sunnier spots will be about 63 to 64. Cloudier spots may hold closer to the 60 degree mark. Might be a shower or two to the south. And skies look like they'll clear out overnight. Now, if clouds move back in the morning that keep our temperatures a little warmer. But right now, as you can see around Pawnee, Pahuska, Bartlesville, Coffeeville, Vanita, Miami, we've got you in that 31, 32 degree range. So be aware for your tender plants. Mid to upper 30s in Tulsa, low 40s to the south. And tomorrow for Good Friday is still looking really good with a little more sunshine. Highs in the mid to upper 60s. Extending this into your Easter weekend on the seven day planner if you missed it earlier. Saturday, we're going to push near 70, upper 60s to near 70. Sunday, I've brought those temperatures down just a little bit. But instead of upper 70s, we're showing low 70s on Easter which still looks terrific. And he has a slight chance for showers late Easter Sunday into the first part of Monday.